This video is going to show the simple configuration of the SST SR4 CLX RLL module. We start by opening the console software. That opens up the configuration manager. So we're going to create a uh, new empty configuration. Uh, the type of the module is SS4, and we're going to communicate to it uh, via Ethernet IP. So the IP address here is the IP address of your uh, ENBT module in the same rack as our card. Uh, the slot number is the slot number of the SR4 module in the card, uh, in the um, in the backplane. In this case, it's in slot five. IP address is the IP address of your PC with running the software, and then we say OK. When it opens up, it'll warn you that you're about to connect using Ethernet IP. We'll say yes. And down at the bottom here, we'll see the configure module state. That uh, brown color indicates that we're connected to the module, but uh, the configurations don't match. Uh, so what we're going to do is go up to channel 0 first, double-click on that, and we'll set this up as a Modbus RTU master. And now we need to choose the, the format. Uh, the module will automatically change between uh, whichever uh, uh, signal format we select. We're going to do RS-485. Baud rate we'll set at 38.4. And we'll leave it at even parity 1 bit. And, uh, uh, RT. I'll say OK. Uh, now we're going to connect to a uh, generic Modbus device here. I'll click and drag that over. Uh, station number one is fine. Uh, all the default parameters are, are fine for our setup here. I'll say OK. Now we want to set up two uh, cyclic functions, one to read from the device and one to, uh, to write for, to the device. Uh, so we can do that cyclic functions add. And now this uh, window displays the, uh, the input table, the output table, and the status table. Uh, these are automatically created in the uh, RS Logix 5000 when we set up the uh, um, module there using the add-on profile. Uh, so we're going to start with a write module or a write uh, cyclic function. Uh, protocol is going to be generic Modbus. And we're going to write to offset 10,000 in the database, and we'll just write one word, and that's going to be mapped into the uh, offset zero of the output table, which is 250 of our uh, database. We'll say OK, and that shows up here in the window. Now we're going to create a uh, read function to read that data back. And so we go generic Modbus again, offset 10,000. And you see this is mapped into the input table uh, at uh, the first available um, address. We'll say OK. And now we see our two uh, cyclic functions there, uh, one reading and one writing to the same location in the uh, slave device. Uh, now we'll save this configuration. And then we're going to initialize the module, which will um, download the configuration to the module and get it ready to communicate. And that initialization generally takes about uh, one minute. And once it's configured, you see our configured module state down at the bottom has changed to a bright green, indicating that uh, the configuration in our console matches the configuration on the, uh, on the card itself. Uh, at this point, we'll now move over to the RS Logix 5000 software, uh, where we'll set up the module using the add-on profile and exchange data.